Good morning, vacationers. Welcome to St. Thomas. Hey guys, thanks for subscribing, watching. Please hit that button, notification. See ya. We are in St. Thomas. We are in the alternate port, so we are not downtown. We are parked next to a Royal Caribbean. It's the same company, but a completely different ship. The difference between the Royal Caribbean and the Celebrity Cruises, first of all, they're the same company. One is geared towards a family oriented. This is more children oriented. The top floor has all kinds of slides and games and a children's section just for them to go swimming. A lot of kid clubs, a lot of different dining. Celebrity is more geared towards the higher end with no children, very few children. I think we saw two the whole time we've been on the boat. It is a different uh, environment. It has a solarium. There is no children's section for them. There are no water slides or anything. But let me tell you, just as beautiful, just as nice, if not nicer. So come with us. We're going to go out into St. Thomas today. So getting off the boat, they do have a shopping area and all of your taxis, tours, and anything for St. Thomas is right here. We are in St. Thomas at the Pleasant Point Sky Lift. It's going to take us up to the top for the best views in St. Thomas. This was about a 10 minute ride from the ship. We are here at Paradise Point ready to get on to the Sky Ride and here it comes now. Yeah, let's go do it. <laughs> this is the port. This is the port you always see. Now you can see the difference. You see that always you see is twice the size. Oh, great view. Look at this. Unobstructed. St. Thomas. Look at the size of the two cruise ships. From the front, you don't realize it. From the back. The Royal Caribbean's on the left, and our edge is on the right. Massive ship. So this is the top of the sky lift excursion. So we just took the sky lift up to the top of St. Thomas and the views are spectacular. We were saying on a clear day, you can see four of the islands. Puerto Rico is way out in the distance and you can see it, but this is just magnificent how they dredged the ports and made it so the cruise ships could come in. Um, we didn't get to go up and see any of the houses up here, but looking down, they have these most beautiful houses with like huge infinity pools that you can rent and um, like an Airbnb um, type of place. It's just, I can't describe how pretty it is. So this is the bar in the restaurant up here at the top of the sky lift. We hope you 
you make it. Be safe. So the platform up here moves back and forth in order to hold the weight of the sky trams when they come up and down for balance. It's pretty cool. So this is the main shopping area in St. Thomas. This is downtown. So if you go to the Skylift, you can stop here on the way back. Lots of jewelry stores, lots of jewelry stores. T-shirts. Thank you. Italian Bistro and Pizzeria. The one thing about St. Thomas, be prepared to be hassled by jewelry guys. Just say no thank you and keep walking. If you stop to talk to them, they will never leave you alone. Drake's Passage with a lot of artwork. It's pretty cool. A lot of stuff to see, a lot of t-shirt shops. Very unique things. Hey guys, thanks for joining watching our videos, please hit that like and subscribe button. We appreciate all your help and support. We have a lot more vacation guides to show you. Thank you.